Today on Ham Radio Q&A, working with memory banks on the Yaesu FT3DR. Keep watching to learn more about this powerful feature. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, one of our viewers, Sveed, asked the following question. Thanks for this video and your blog about setting up APRS. I have a request. Would you make a video uh, explaining how to set up FT3DR memory banks? I understand the concept, but following the steps in the FT3DR advanced manual is confusing. Well, that's a great question, and, and in this video, we're going to dive into that the memory bank feature, which is a really powerful feature that's found in Yaesu's FT3DR. But first, you know, let's go into a little bit of background information. The Yaesu FT3DR has 900 memory channels, and these 900 channels can be organized into 24 banks of 100 channels each. Uh, the channel can reside in multiple banks, which is really handy. Uh, so you can set up banks for your local channels, your simplex channels, and your regional channels. You can also combine channels into banks and maybe just have, you know, say fusion repeaters in one or a mix in one bank or a mix of repeaters and simplex in another bank. Um, whatever, whatever you need to kind of organize your channels in this radio. For example, in a recent event I participated in, I created a bank that pulled together the repeaters we'd be using in addition to the common simplex channels. Then at the event, I could switch to that bank and all the channels I needed were really easy to access. And note, you know, I'm gonna be demonstrating these features on the Yaesu FT3DR, but the bank function is identical on the FT2DR. So if you have um, the FT2DR uh, handheld, you can also take advantage of this powerful feature. So, what do you need to set up the banks? Well, first, I'm going to show you the method uh, by using the ADMS 11 programming application that Yesu provides for free. ADMS 11 is available for free on the Yesu website. Uh, you, can, you can use that to program the radio uh, using the optional programming cable or by um, reading and writing the program to the micro SD card. To set up the banks with the software, first write your memories uh, to the SD card. SD card and then import that into the computer. In the spreadsheet display on, on the screen, scroll all the way to the right until you see several columns marked bank 1 through bank 24. In these columns you can put little check marks to indicate which channels you wish for, um, to be in each bank. Like I mentioned, you can put the same channels in multiple banks, so feel free to organize the banks however you desire. To make the organization process easier, you can also name the banks just like you would name channels. To do that, go under the settings menu and select settings. From there, click on the memory tab and you'll see a list of the 24 banks. There you can give your banks descriptive names to make choosing them on the radio easier. Next to the bank name is a checkbox for bank link. You can link two or more banks together so that when you scan the banks, the scan feature will scan both banks. For example, say I want to scan both my local and my simplex banks. I could check both those banks. They would be joined together, uh, but the channels still reside in their respective banks. After you're done setting banks, you can write the data back to your SD card and then uh, read it back into the radio. Now that you saw how to set the banks feature in the software, let's switch over to the radio for um, setting, changing, uh, adjusting the banks. To use the banks feature, first make sure you're in the memory mode. There should be a little M in the upper right of the display. From there to activate the banks, press the F button and then press the bank button that appears on the display. Once you select the bank button, you'll, uh, you'll see the B in the upper left of the display and you'll be taken to the first memory bank. To change to another bank, press the band button and then rotate the selector dial. You'll see your banks uh, cycle through the display as you rotate the knob. Pick a bank and then press either the back or the band button to activate that bank. You can use the banks feature on both the A and the B bands. So you can work separate banks on each band or maybe banks on one band and memory channels or the VFO on the other. If you're in the banks mode and you want to get um, back to, all, to accessing all of your channels, you can go back to the memory mode so that you can scroll through the, the channels. To accomplish that, uh, press the F button and then select the MR button on the display. 
Say you wish to add a channel to a bank on the fly, or you don't wish, or you don't want to use the programming software to set up your banks. Adding re and removing channels from the banks is a straightforward process. First, to add a channel to the bank, make sure that you're in the memory mode by pressing the F button and then selecting MR on the display. You'll see that the M is in the upper left of the display. Rotate the selector knob to pick a channel. Now press and hold the F button to activate the memory write action. You'll see a blinking channel number as the radio is waiting for you to write the information to a channel. Rotate the selector dial to the left until you see the bank numbers or the bank names. Select the bank and then press the M write button to add that channel to the bank. To remove a channel from a bank, first go to the memory bank that contains the channel and then touch and hold the F button until the memory options appear. Press the button with the six squares and then press M delete. This will remove the channel from the memory bank, but it won't delete the memory, the memory channel itself or the memory location. Finally, to name a memory bank, memory banks can be named using up to 16 characters. To add or change the name of memory bank, press and hold the display button until the radio settings menu appears. Press the memory button in the upper right of the display and select option number two, which is titled bank name. Here you can use the, uh, the, the key buttons on the display to type in a name for the memory bank. When you're done, press the push to talk switch to save the characters and then return back to normal operation. If you wish to link the banks uh, from the same memory menu that the memory bank name is located, go to option one called Bank Link. There you can uh, press, on, press on the display to link the banks or to use the selector dial and the display button to link banks together. As I stated earlier, linking banks is helpful if you wish to scan through multiple banks of channels on the radio. So how do I use the memory bank feature? Well, much like conventional radio scanners, the bank feature allows you to easily create scan lists for your favorite amateur and say public safety frequencies. If I'm gonna take part in an event where our group will be providing health and welfare traffic, I'll put the channels that we'll be using into a bank for easy access. I also keep my local channels, my simplex channels, and my out of area channels in separate banks. Since banks can be created on the fly, in this radio, it's easy to organize your channels in the FT3DR in such a way that makes them easier to access, no matter if you're monitoring the local repeaters at home or you're traveling to an area outside of where you normally listen. So do you have any questions about using the memory bank feature of the ASU FT3DR? Now, please leave them in the comments below. I'll follow up on the conversation and I'll maybe even pull out a few for my next Your Questions Answered video. But for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos, so if you like this video, uh, give me that big thumbs up. It really helps um, other people to find, me, to find my videos. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Pressing subscribe is your way to be notified when future videos are released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.